want to quickly download YouTube video transcripts to analyze how top creators craft their scripts or even learn a new language. Manually copying text is a pain. So today I'll show you how to automate this in just a few steps. Hi, I'm Elle, a new creator passionate about helping beginners using AI and coding to solve real world problems. Today, I'll show you how to automate the entire process using Google Colab and a simple Python script. By the end of this video, you will have a tool to grab transcripts in seconds, no coding expertise required, and stick around to the end because I'll share a pro tip that will save you even more time. How to automate this in just a few steps. So first, let's set up a new Google Colab notebook. If you have never used Google Colab before, don't worry, I'll show you how to do it quickly. If you own a Gmail account, it'll be really easy for you to set it up. It's just like setting up a new Google Doc. So you have to Google your Google Drive and click on New. And don't worry if you don't see Google Colab here. Click on More and here connect more apps. And here in the search bar, type Google Colab, enter. And here, Collaboratory, this is the one you have to select. Click on it and then click on Install. Continue. Choose your Gmail account here. Continue and it says collaboratory has been installed. All right, and then you can close this, go back to Google Drive, click on new, more. Now you see Google Collaboratory is showing up in your menu. Click on Google Collaboratory. Awesome, now you have just created your first Google Colab notebook. Right here, let's name it YouTube Transcript. Hey. This release notes, you can just click here to close it. Now, importantly, we have to notice that we can write both code and text in this notebook. And in most cases, we're going to focus on just the code function. So whenever we wanted to start something, we can add a code block or we can add a text block. So the very first step, we need to install the YouTube transcript API library. So you just have to type this line of code in your first code block. And after you have done that, we need to run it by click on this button. In about four seconds, Google Colab has installed the YouTube Transcript API library. Now you have to start a new code block and enter these code lines. And don't worry, I'll explain line by line. If you're new to coding, this might seem intimidating, but copy my code, please, and give it a try. We're not in a coding class. This is an engineering shortcut to save you time. It's really not that difficult. So here we are going to use the YouTube Transcript API module from the YouTube Transcript API library. And then we define a function called download transcript. This part serves the function to extract the video ID from the YouTube video link and the unique ID assigned to each YouTube video comes after the V and equal sign. And you can easily check any YouTube video URL. You will find uh, a string of values right after V equals. So this step is just to extract that unique video ID so we can correctly identify the specific video you want the transcripts from. And here we're using the get transcript function to retrieve the transcript. And these following text is just to save the grabbed transcript into a text file. If we don't do this, then we're going to have a JSON format, which is not exactly easy for human to read, but it's very convenient. And when we run a function, if everything is all right, it will print transcript saved as transcript txt otherwise it will generate an error and finally we're going to ask the user which in this case is ourselves to input a youtube url link so that a function can run with this info and output a txt file so in the same block enter the following code just the two lines all right so here um, the function will prompt you to enter an url and after that the transcript.txt file will be generated and you can download under this folder icon here. So that's the entirety of this function 
you can build using Python in Google Colab for free. And you can reuse it however many times you want. And it just takes a few seconds. You can reuse it however many times you want. And it just takes a few seconds. So let's try a real example now. Very exciting. If I wanted to get the transcript of one of the Andrew Huberman podcast episode, let's say perhaps Jordan Peterson here, and then I click on here, let's pause it. And then so uh, there's this manual way to grab transcripts of long video, which is you go to the description, click on more, and you scroll down, all the way down, and you see transcript, show transcript. And for some reason, it takes some time to generate the transcript. Okay, and there's no button for you to download uh, transcripts. And there's no way for you to modify the format of the transcript. You have to select this all the way down, which is not very convenient. Sometimes I just don't have the patience of doing this. All right, so now, since we have built a Python script, why don't we automate this process where you can get rid of the endless scrolling process of getting the transcript. Now, let's just go to the URL of this video. Now, you see, there's a V equal sign and any, anything comes after the equal sign is the unique identifier assigned to this video. We just need to grab the whole URL and copy it and then go back to the collab. All right, so remember we already run this installing script. Here, we just need to click on run this block and let the magic happen. All right, immediately we saw a box showing up right under the script. Let's copy and paste in that same video link and press enter. And very cool, it says transcript saved as transcript.txt. Now you do have to wait perhaps two seconds and under and on the left side, you see a txt file is being generated. Now you can click on the three dots and click on download and it will be saved to your local computer. Obviously, you can also double click and take a quick overview of the transcript. So boom, you got whole transcript downloaded in a txt file in a couple of seconds. And the best part is you can reuse the script for thousands of videos you collected. So you can build your own collection of top videos you like and you put them together. I think it's a great resource for new creators like me to analyze and learn from the experienced creators. So next time when I wanted to grab the transcripts from a video I liked, I only need to grab the YouTube URL and go back to my script and run this process. I hope you learned something useful in this video. I have also prepared another tutorial to help you automate the process of grabbing the first 30 seconds, which is the hook section of any YouTube video. So stay tuned.